Hi guys, this is Christy with Vegan Food for Thought and um, today I wanted to share why I didn't eat any turkey for Thanksgiving. Um, and if anybody has been following my channel for a while, you know like I haven't had turkey for like eight years. So, um, But you know, I, I, this year I did realize like I'm really thankful that I didn't eat any turkey and that I feel good after and like I have energy and I feel like working out like the day after normally. I would stuff myself and feel pretty bad after Thanksgiving um, consistently every year. So <laughs> I really like um, the way I feel now. And if anybody's been following more recently, you would know like that, you know, I've been doing this anti candida diet and I was dealing with um, some thrush and things. And it was to the point to where I couldn't eat any sugar or oil and I was getting issues. Um, so I'm like really happy to say that I was able to eat pumpkin pie. Um, it was gluten-free vegan pumpkin pie still. Um, but it did have a lot of sugar and <laughs> it tasted really good. And I, this is like the first time in a long time where I've been even able to eat sugar and to not have thrush the next day. Um, and if anyone knows what that is, it's kind of very painful, irritating. Um, I wouldn't be able to taste things when I was having it. Um, so I'm really, really happy that like I feel good and normal after <laughs> eating it, um, after eating the stuff that I did eat. Uh, yeah, so um, a part of the reasons why I don't eat turkey is that, well, for one, my health, um, I feel really good when I don't eat turkey. Um, it has a lot of cholesterol, um, just even the smell, um, the smell of old turkey reminds me of like wet dog. Um, and there was one year when I took home some leftover turkey and I couldn't wash it out of my pan. Like the smell, it just smelled like my pan in my Pyrex dish, a glass dish just smelled like wet dog. No matter how many times I washed it, I just had to start using it again and baking with it. And finally the smell baked out, but it was so gross. <laughs> and like, I, I wasn't aware of how much meat stunk, um, before not eating meat. Um, and yeah, the reason why I took home some leftover turkey one year, um, it was while I was vegan, but I did take some home for my dogs to feed them um, because I'm not gonna, I, I would make them vegan. Um, I probably would have uh, if I did more research on it. But uh, yeah, I, you know, they, they enjoyed it. They liked it. <laughs> and so um, I let them have some of it and it was just leftovers. It's not like I would have gone out and bought a whole turkey just for them. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to do, yeah, I used to give them those sorts of things. Um, so that was my Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to have uh, some really nice family members who are also going vegan. Um, and they made like an amazing, like just all kinds of vegan foods that I could eat. And so I was really happy about that. Um, I really wanted to, I did make some stuffing, but not for Thanksgiving. I wanted to bring some over, but... I don't have an oven, so um, I borrowed, I was using someone else's oven to make Thanksgiving stuffing a weekend, a week ago. Um, so I did get to enjoy some of that, but yeah, I wish I could have made some more because I really like all that stuff. I love all the, you know, mashed potatoes and gravy and um, stuffing and yeah, and all the, normally I even make cranberry sauce, but I just, it was kind of, I didn't have time to. I, I woke up late and didn't even think about like all I could think about was like getting dressed and getting everyone else ready <laughs> and going and that was it but I still had a really really good Thanksgiving um yeah I'm really thankful that I feel good the next day that I feel like I have energy and I want to work out and just get stuff done and like I want to do things <laughs> instead of normally you know feeling like I'm in a food coma after eating so I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, and if you've been following my other videos, I have um, posts about like my anti-candida diet and how I healed my thrush and things. Um, and I also uh, have been doing the water kefir. I know that helps a ton because like the other day I woke up with like some stomach pains and nothing serious, but like it was enough to where it was like kind of keeping me awake. And so I drank some of my water kefir and it just made my like insides feel good after. <laughs> and then I was able to fall asleep. So I really like, yeah, just feeling good and feeling healthy. Um, I also like knowing that I'm not like killing an animal because I think it tastes good. Um, I, I don't think that turkey tastes good anymore. Um, just like it, it just knowing that it has like all the bacteria and gross stuff in it that's um, you know and all the cholesterol and things it's just not like the best thing for me 
and I don't like, yeah, killing animals anymore. <laughs> um, I also, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but, um, yeah, I, I'm thankful for not killing a turkey this year. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. And I, I, I know that it, like, it helps the planet, like feeding all of these animals that we eat, it uses so much energy and food and, like stuff it creates so many carbon you know like a huge carbon footprint that I'm really glad that I'm not contributing to that because it would take it takes so much grain to feed like one cow or one animal but we could just feed that to a person that needs it instead and there's like a huge energy trade-off right there that you know we should be using more of and I think that vegans are already like helping with that they're you know like preventing a lot of um, carbon emissions and methane and things being released into the air um, and yeah it's a uh, I wish more and more people could be vegan but um, that's where I've been at with that um, <laughs> I've just been feeling good and I hope that yeah it makes me so happy when more and more people want to be vegan because even if it's just like for weight loss for your health um for the planet or for the animals like any reason is a good reason to be vegan um <laughs> and the more like the longer I've been vegan the more reasons I find like that it just it helps with this or that and um, a lot of it for me was like just my health um, from the beginning, but now it's just like every time I, I research it or look into it, there's like another reason to be vegan. So um, yeah, there really isn't any downside to it. Um, when I used to eat meat, I actually was anemic and I used to eat like the gizzards and all the like the organ meat of the like the turkey or the chickens that we would get. Um, and I was also deficient in vitamin K, so I probably just needed more minerals and my body was trying to tell me like, hey, you need to eat more and or this sort of stuff. But I just didn't know, um, that I could get those things from fruits and vegetables and that I could feel good from it. So, um, yeah, part of it is just learning like what foods to eat and stuff. And then, um, my taste buds, I do have to say my taste buds adjusted a lot after becoming vegan. Because now I like, I crave things like, you know, roasted red bell peppers or like lentils and things. And normally, like, I wouldn't even think about eating lentils, <laughs> like, if I wasn't vegan. Um, but, you know, now it's like a major source of like protein for me and minerals and vitamins and just all kinds of really good stuff. And I do like actually, I think about eating lentils like once a week now <laughs> and I really crave it, you know? So. It's, it's a part of, you know, being vegan is adjusting and adapting and doing something that you've never done before, unless you, you know, have been lucky enough to be raised into a family that was vegan or, um, you know, you know, people that who are vegan. Um, it, a lot of it for me was like relearning, you know, recipes and things and, you know, and even relearning the food pyramid or food groups and what I needed um, to be healthy and to feel good. So I do focus on like, I pretty much eat rice and beans daily um, or lentils or some type of, you know, I make sure that I get those like really dense minerals from beans or legumes or something. But um, yeah, once I learned that, then I started feeling a lot better. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know, post any, did you guys, did anyone else eat, not, not eat turkey for Thanksgiving? Did you eat turkey? What, you know, and how did you feel after? Um, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone that ate vegan food for Thanksgiving felt better, <laughs> but, um, maybe, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Cause you could have a really processed vegan Thanksgiving and feel pretty crummy from it. I don't know. But, um, I, I would say most people generally that ate vegan probably feel better. <laughs> um, so that was my Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, I wanted to say happy Black Friday to everybody too. Um, I will be not participating in Black Friday. I love to stay home on that day. It's like a day I specifically plan on, you know, getting things done that I need to at the house instead of um, going out and shopping because it's just, I don't want to get trampled and I don't want to like be a person trampling people. So I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm happy where I am. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Anyway, I guess Christmas is like right around the corner. <laughs> so happy holidays and I hope everybody out there is having lots of like really good vegan food. <laughs>